What's up crew? Welcome to another video. Episode 3 of the Relo Prep, which is what it is, honestly. I won't go into super detail, but like like I said in the first uh, video, I am trying to just change things as I can. And with this challenge, at least there's an end goal of, by the end of the challenge, for me at least, I hope to have my shit together. And I hope that, you know... In that time, I can figure out what the heck I'm doing. Rather than just, you know, rather than saying I'm going to do a 30-day challenge and on day one I'm going to change everything. First of all, I'm vlogging every day. Second of all, I'm fitnessing every day. So today I'll get my workout in. I uh, was going to do it now, but Madison is very... You never know with this nap. You know, she just went down at noon. She could wake up at 1, which is in 30 minutes. She could wake up at 3, which would be incredible for me. So I'll save my workout for either right after right at four on her uh, last nap if she naps short right now or for when both of them are in bed i'll just come in here and get the wad done vlogging every day and fitnessing every day the food thing for me is just i need to i don't know what i need to do actually maybe i need to talk to somebody and see like what they did to change their eating habits food is just like i know what i need to do i just i enjoy junk too much and i enjoy certain things like i go to zanato's every week i have sort of this trend of food that i eat you know i'll get sushi on one day i'll get a big sandwich on another day which i haven't had that sandwich this week it's only monday what am i saying uh or i'll get a salad <laughs> which is like the best choice of all of them uh sushi i think is good it's just the rice in too much quantity will obviously be you know too much starch too much carb too much blah 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 the sandwich is the bad one but anyways rambling uh, right now, I just finished uploading vlog number three, two. Now I'm gonna clear off the desk, turn off the computer, move everything to a spot that's safe, and then I'm gonna try to I'm, tr I'm gonna try to organize it the way that I want to. I have the table right here with the foam uh, backing, and I, I kind of thought about something while I was editing. Uh, there's a few units underneath there that I'd like to like implant in there, so cut a hole and like install it in. Uh, but with the foam there, it's going to make it a lot harder without completely destroying the foam. So hopefully I can find a way to do all that without undoing what I just did yesterday. going to do that, take everything off the desk. I'm going to install that in the back by screwing some big uh, heavy-duty screws up from the bottom. And then I'm going to use the pegboard to support it from the side. So I'm gonna screw in from the side and then onto the table. And then I'll add one more L bracket underneath this um, desk organizer. <laughs> so that way this, the weight of this side screen won't move the wall down. So hopefully that'll work, we'll see. But let's just get to it. <laughs> Well, that was a heck of a workout, but I'll still try to work out later. Got everything on the GoPro on the new C-Stand, which is pretty cool. Hopefully everything looks really awesome and you enjoy that. Basically all I did, if you can see, is the pegboard there. As you can see, the headphones are already hanging up. I'll probably add, um, somehow add this, which is my card reader. Usually I have it plugged in sitting right here, but I don't like having anything on my computer. The cleanest possible setup so i'm going to try to find a way to hang it up nicely over there behind um, the screens you have the soundproofing uh, foam which i don't know how much it's really going to do but it, it looks nicer it has a 
darker tone to it which as an editor you typically want like a middle gray to dark gray behind your screens because it, it, I guess it's either softer on the eyes or it helps with color correction and gives you a good contrast for color um, that also allowed me to hang my screens a little bit better they used to be on those giant arms that you probably saw before I started taking it apart um, I just didn't like the way that it looks just like the computer having too much on it I don't like too many things in my line of view uh, which is kind of silly to say seeing how that's in my line of view which I might hide in a little bit I might try to tuck it underneath the desk I just need to have access to the knobs because I have my echo hooked up to it as, as well as my computer so I like to adjust them individually I still have a couple of things to finish off so organization the cords are a mess again they always seem to be in flux but we'll fix that sometime soon. But now Madison's awake, it's 2.30. She's been awake for about 30 minutes, but kind of chilling in the crib, so that's at least nice. So we're gonna go get her. Uh, a lot of the times after this nap, I like to grab the guitar, play a little bit with her, and, and then get her a bottle. So, I don't know, she loves music, so I don't know, let's show you. Go for the camera. <laughs> 